Hey guys, it is Louisa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a period Q&A because I haven't really done one of these videos before. I've done like yearly like advice and answered a few questions about periods, but I wanted to make like a specific video on periods because most of my audience are girls and I know being on your period isn't a pleasant time of the month, so I thought I try and give you some tips and um, advice. Make sure to give the video a massive thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Also, I thought I'd mention I'm going to London on the 26th of January, so that's next Saturday when this video is going up. So if you live in London or you will be around in London on the 26th of January, then make sure if you see me to come and say hi because I'd really like to meet you guys and I'll probably be around like Oxford Street or Covent Garden, that kind of area. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I asked you guys on my Instagram for some questions so make sure you go and follow my instagram it'll be down below and on the screen and um, i always like get you guys involved in my videos so the first question is tips for it happening at school so i absolutely hate being on my period at school it's so bad because like it's just so like uncomfortable and you have to go to the toilet a lot and it's just not nice so tips for it happening at school make sure you bring lots of pads to school or tampons whatever you want to use because because it's the worst feeling if you forget to bring pads to school so make sure you're really well prepared and maybe bring some like ibuprofen or paracetamol um, just in case you get bad cramps ibuprofen seems to help me so much it literally gets rid of the cramps for me make sure you bring lots of water to school and um, yeah that's kind of the tips for school um i don't really know what else i can say for that one the next question is tips on how to get rid of cramps okay my first tip which literally this is all i use when i get cramps it is like ibuprofen or just like any tablet personally ibuprofen worked a lot better for me than paracetamol just just gets rid of the cramp to be honest but once um, when it was awful that like, i literally couldn't get rid of it with ibuprofen I used a hot water bottle and that was really nice. I think definitely like a hot water bottle really helps and hot drinks like hot chocolate really helps me or coffee or tea. Personally, I don't like coffee or tea. Also having a really nice bath, lying down in a bath really like soothes your tummy. So these are my tips. Um, hot water bottle, hot drinks and get yourself in a nice warm bath. The next question is when did you start your period? Um, I actually have the date on my phone because I typed in like on the notes app just so I never forget. I started my period on the 29th of April, 2017. So, um, I've had it for like over a year and a half, two years in three months time. So I started it when I was in year eight at school, like kind of like halfway through year eight. The next question is how long does yours last? Personally, mine lasts five days. So not too bad, because I know some people's last for like 10 days, which is awful. If you're watching this and your period lasts for like three days, you're so lucky. It's gonna sound a bit grim, but it's only really heavy for like the first two days or like two or three days. And then for like the uh, fourth and fifth days, it's really light, so it's not too bad. The next question is, how did you tell your mum you had started? Love you, by the way, love you too. And I think it started at school, or I'm gonna tell you the story time of when I started because I don't think anyone asked that. So, the story time of when I started, it was a Saturday, I was at school. Um, it was second period, I think. Um, it was maths, maths, what a great lesson to start your period in. I just felt something, I needed to go to the toilet. Um, I didn't really know it was my period at the time. I knew I was gonna start soon, but I didn't think it was my period when I needed to go to the toilet. So I went to the toilet and I started my period and then I texted my mum like on the toilet. <laughs> That's gonna sound really weird, but yeah, I texted her because I didn't really know what to do because I didn't have any pads. I didn't even put toilet paper in my pants. I don't even know why I did that. So I literally went into lessons leaking without anything in which is kind of stupid because i had no idea what i was doing so but if you're at school and you start probably just like text your mom the next question is do you suffer with bad period pains to be honest i think i've been fairly lucky because i know like a lot of people like throw up um can't go into school because of it but personally i've never had that i've always had like a few like tummy cramps but i'm pretty sure like everybody gets that um but in july i think it was july 2018 i had the worst period cramps ever i literally it was like a couple of days before i was going on holiday and i literally couldn't get out of bed because of how painful it was so i literally thought i wasn't going to be able to go on holiday because of how painful it was but that's the only month that i had a problem with that the next question is do you, do you use an app to track your period yes i use an app called flow i don't know if you've heard of it before it's a really good app this is not sponsored by the way it was just a question that someone asked me 
it's really good because it like predicts when you're next going to have your period and it's pretty accurate. Um, the next question is if you could change one thing about having your period, what would it be? Um, hmm, probably not having it at all. Joking, I want a baby so I need to have my period. But I would change that, I wouldn't have it ever when I go like on holiday or if I need to go swimming because it's so annoying. The only times when I go swimming, I'm on my period. Yeah, I just wish I didn't have it when I went on holiday because last year I had it when I went on holiday twice. The two times I went on holiday, I was on my period for both of them. The next question is tampons or pads. Personally pads. Next question is I'm 13 and all of my friends have started their period But I haven't and I'm a bit worried. Honestly, don't worry 13 is like a perfectly normal age to like not have started your period I think when it's starting to get a bit worrying if you haven't started it's like 16 17 So honestly don't worry you've got like another three years to start it Personally when I started my period I was kind of like in the middle some of my friends had and some of them haven't so that was, it was kind of a good time for me to start but you honestly shouldn't worry I know it can be really annoying like if your friends are talking about periods and you haven't started it yet but you've got nothing to worry about honestly you should be happy that you haven't started it yet because when you have it it's really not nice and the last question I'm going to answer is what advice would you give to a girl who is about to get their period make sure you don't wear really nice pants and stuff because you don't want to like ruin them and if you have a feeling that you're going to start it like in a few days or a few weeks make sure to wear a panty liner because if you do start then you're not going to ruin your pants also make sure that like whenever you go out you have pads or tampons with you personally I would recommend to start with pads and tampons because pads are just so much like easier and and when you're first starting you don't just want to put a tampon straight up and that is all of the questions which i'm going to answer in the video i think i answered pretty much all of them a lot of people ask like similar questions to each other so i just picked out like the main ones that you guys asked so i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a massive thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys all next week for a new video bye